On the 14th August 2023, bandits were reported to have attacked troops of the Nigerian military in two separate attacks with a number of undisclosed casualties. Briefing newsmen on military operations, Director of Defense Media Operations Major General Edward Buba revealed that three officers and 22 soldiers were killed in action while seven wounded in Shiroro, Nanja State. The military authorities, however, vowed to hunt down those behind such an attack on the troops in Nanja State. And then the ambush and the firefight resulted in the death of three officers, 22 soldiers, while seven were wounded in action. This is the time for our country to come together. Let's put hands together. Let's see how we can get information from members of our armed forces and see how we can bring these criminals out of our communities. The criminal is using the name of religion to kill our soldiers, to kill innocent Nigerians, to rape our women, to send our people into IDPs, and we still want to be sending their videos up and down. What are we doing? It's time for us to sit back and think so the things we're doing because it's not helping us as a nation. Meanwhile, the director said troops in the last two weeks neutralized 28 terrorists, arrest 92 terrorists, six gun runners, three kidnappers, six collaborators, seven perpetrators of oil theft, rescued 82 kidnapped hostages. The military, in the course of its operations, neutralized 28 terrorists while 92 of them were arrested. Six gun runners, three kidnappers, six collaborators, and seven perpetrators of oil theft. A minute silence was observed in the honor of the officers and soldiers who paid the supreme price during operations in various theaters. John Tena, ITV News.